The Parliamentary Committee on Budget and Finance has stressed the need for cost-benefit analysis and allocation of resources to priority sectors that will accelerate and sustain the country's economic growth and achieve Sustainable Development Goals SDGs by 2030. Chairperson for the committee, Gladys Ganda, said this in Lilongwe, where the National Planning Commission, NPC, hosted a public lecture on SDGs by Dr. John Ronbog of the Copenhagen Consensus Center. Details in this report. The National Planning Commission was established to, among others, coordinate the development of long- and medium-term national development plan for the country. It is against this background that the commission hosted a public lecture on the sustainable development goals delivered by Dr. Bjo Lomborg, president for the Global Think Tank. The topic for the public lecture was redeeming the SDGs, more money and more value for money. He said Malawi needs to prioritize innovative interventions and approaches to achieve the SDG targets and the AU Agenda 2063. Malawi is actually doing better than many. You're only going to be 70 years late, whereas uh, the average for the uh, Sub-Saharan Africa is about 140 uh, years late. This emphasizes that you need to focus on the smartest things first. If you can't do it all, focus on the very best investments first. NPC Development Planning Officer Salim Ahmed Mapila, who made a presentation titled Situating Malawi 2063 in the SDG's last decade of action inquiry, explains the importance of the public lecture. So the presentation was given a sense of our progress uh, towards that you know, second milestone of MIG-1. And uh, as a country, we usually do the voluntary national reviews uh, on behalf of the country, I think in partnership with the Ministry of Finance and uh, Economic Affairs. And uh, there's some progress in uh, some goals, very little progress in others. And I think tonight we're reflecting on how we can do better uh, in places that we have not done the best. In her remarks, chairperson for the Parliamentary Committee on Budget and Finance, Gladys Ganda, said the gathering offered them an opportunity to examine how Malawi should practically pursue its national development agenda to meet the SDGs and national development goals. Ganda, however, cautioned politicians against making unrealistic promises. When we want to do our budgets, uh, moving forward, it's better to, for us to make sure that we get value for money. Uh, how we get value for money is to do a, to assess a cost of benefit analysis that are uh, usually done by uh, technocrats from various uh, sectors. So all in all, this is a fruitful uh, discussion that we've had, and we, well, hopefully we we, we, we think that moving forward we should be able to invest in sectors that will grow the economy and all, but also make sure that our people are saved uh, efficiently and effectively. Minister of Finance Sosten Gwengwe and the representatives of civil society organizations also attended the public lecture. Malawi aspires to be an inclusive wealth and self-reliant industrial